So, after we have done some of this relaxation training, what we get is a dog who more or less looks like this when we get working. Um, and um, we're seeing signs of true relaxation instead of just lying down, right? So our head is down, um, our eyes are soft, everything's pretty relaxed. Um, I know this dog pretty well enough to know that he is still actually kind of anxious. There's a, a lot going on in the neighborhood today. He's seen some neighbors and heard some big trucks and you can, you can kind of see he will periodically lift his head up and, and sort of sniff and look around, but he's able to come back good to this relaxed position uh, because we've done a lot of work. Um, and um, I can hear actually a tree, something being done in the, in the distance a couple houses away. Um, they're cutting a tree down or something, some construction noise that's coming through. Um, good. And he's really doing a, a, a good job at not becoming um, reactive or agitated um, to that. Uh, so once you have a dog who has done this a few times, right, we've got a dog who understands, you know, when you kind of sit down and take a deep breath and, and start looking relaxed, that this dog um, settles down pretty nicely. Um, we can begin to work on conditioning our dogs um, to stay relaxed without us sitting next to us. So if we get up and move around and move away from them, um, which is important if we're talking about having a dog who's functionally relaxed, you know, if it, it doesn't really do you a whole lot of good to have a dog who can be relaxed as long as you're sitting right next to them, feeding them treats every 30 to 60 seconds or so. Um, so we want to get those dogs um, to the place where they can just sort of stay chill and relax on their own and, and know that their owners are gonna periodically come back and, and reward them for good staying so relaxed, um, but that they don't need the owner next to them. So we um, begin uh, working on that by adding small movements. So in the video clip coming up, you're gonna see me working on crossing my legs and uncrossing my legs and then marking good and giving him a treat. Um, standing up, sitting down, um, marking good, giving him a treat, taking a few steps around. Um, if when you start this phase for your dog, if they get up, which a lot of them will do, um, it's fine, we just sit back down, lure them back into position, resettle them and do it again with a smaller movement. Um, and don't get upset. It's not that they're breaking a stay, they're not being disobedient, they're just trying to figure out what's going on with this exercise. Um, so let's take a look at what, um, what that looks like.